This is a piece I wrote uh, at the end of 2014, and a uh, cold winter night, and I was just thinking about family sitting around the fire and things like that. I had these kind of warm thoughts on a cold night was kind of uh, what was running through my head. Uh, it's called And Winter Glows, and it's um, it's really, it's fairly simple in mel melodic structure and composition and, and chord progressions. Um, the The key is a bit, odd it kind of changes modes a few times we hear a lot of we hear some chords with um pedal point bass notes all four different chords there that all had a in the bass um and then we get then then it carries on in, into other uh then we hear the bass bass movement and stuff the the most important thing about well no i can't go there but a very important thing about getting this this piece in pretty good shape is being able to play with light percussion. Now, in the next segment, I'll, I'll, I'll get in close and we'll, we'll talk about this. But um, the, you'll hear a lot of light tapping on the strings that usually happens in a, in a song like this on beats two and four, or one or the other. Kind of depends on what's going on with the melody and things like that. But you want to get used to your hand feeling these off beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that would be the first thing I would I would recommend practicing. Is, and what I'm doing here is my thumb is coming to rest on the fifth string and my other three fingers are coming to rest on the second, third, and fourth strings. So I'm essentially putting my fingers down on the middle four strings of the guitar, but with enough force, particularly with my thumb, to be knocking the sixth string into the fingerboard. To hear a, a, what we, that's what you're hearing there, is, is the sixth string being bounced into the frets. So again, I'll get, I'll get more into that in just a second. Um, the structure of the song is very simple. There are two parts, what I call a verse, because that part happens three times, and a bridge, because it only happens once, it changes keys, it goes into an F thing, um, and then a little an introduction that kind of helps connect the parts and separate the parts uh, so that it has a you know, little bit of breathing space. And uh, the intro is just this little offbeat arpeggio. Anyway, we'll get into all the parts in just a second. But I uh, just want to tell you a little bit about the song. Um, 
it's just a calm kind of relaxing thing and hopefully it'll, it'll sound just as good in the in the summer uh, okay coming up we will uh, break down the parts and uh, but the first thing I want to talk about is a little bit more detail on the right hand percussion What we have going on in uh, and Winter Glows, as along with many, many songs that I play and write, um, is a little bit of rhythm, a little percussion, done mostly with the right hand. And that, and if I do this very softly, what I'm doing is just grabbing the middle strings with it, with the all open here, just for, for, no reason. And um, the first thing to practice to get get the feel for this is just grabbing the chord on beat one, and then on beat two putting your fingers back down on the strings it's about to play, that they're about to play hard enough so that when my thumb comes to rest on the fifth string here it's it's hitting the sixth string with the side of my side of my thumb and that's what you're hearing you're hearing a little bit of noise from the fingernails touching the strings next to the string that they're grabbing like so my first finger is coming in here to getting ready to play the third string but it's coming in and, and landing on the second string 